If you want to learn how to access and configure your basic input output system or your unified extensible firmware interface, your BIOS UFI for mining, and you don't really know where to start, you've come to the right channel. We're going to go step by step and we're starting right now. Welcome back to the Savage Mind YouTube channel. I'm Charles, and if this is your first time here and you're interested in building a cryptocurrency mining rig and maintaining that rig and other crypto related stuff, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. This is video number four in this series where I take you through a complete GPU crypto mining rig build from start to finish. There will be links in the description to the other videos in this series, so if you need to jump around a little bit or if you're looking for something specific, please be sure to check those out as well. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite mining motherboard is. In the previous video, we assembled our rig. So now it's time to fire this baby up, get into the BIOS, and get it configured for mining. The good news is, is that this motherboard, the one that we chose for this build, the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus is already configured for mining for the most part. There are a few gotchas in there and we're going to cover those. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is boot your system from a cold boot. Press F2 or delete to get into the BIOS. You're going to notice right here you've got the firmware version of the BIOS. Check the website to make sure that that's the latest. Then you're going to click advanced and then chipset configuration. And we want to choose the onboard video. If you've got something plugged into PCIe 2, uh, you're going to have a problem if you reboot and uh, don't have a monitor plugged into the DVI port um, and onboard video selected. So you have to do that first. Then you go down through the list of each PCIe slot and choose Gen 2. There's some debate on this. Mine worked with auto, but most people choose Gen 2, PCI 2, version 2. The next thing we'll do is scroll down and choose onboard HD audio and disable it. You can also choose onboard HDMI HD audio and disable that as well. Now we're going to choose restore AC power loss and choose power on. And this is going to allow the machine or the, the rig to boot back up in the case of a power loss. Now we're going to exit and choose save changes and exit. Choose yes and your system will, will reboot with those settings. If you found this video helpful, Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. From start to finish, we're using GPOs and GPOs. Yeah, group policy objects, that's good.